I love everything about this moment between the two because it shows that Emmeline is actually really lovable and kind beneath her mean girl exterior, and kind people always win over mean people, in my book at least. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this one I'm going to be sharing my thoughts with you on the second to last episode of season 1 of the Netflix original series Everything Sucks. Episode 9, titled My Friends Have Been Eaten by Spiders, deals with the aftermath of the students of boring high schools returning to Oregon, which is anything but a happy reunion for them and their parents. This is especially true for Luke and Cherry, who, instead of hugging and discussing the events of their time apart, get into an explosive argument after he walks in on her, laughing uncontrollably as Ken dances around in his underwear for her amusement. Shocked and embarrassed by her son's behavior, Sherry then tells Ken to leave, an order he is reluctant to follow but does anyway out of respect for her. The conversation between the two is continued later on that day over a phone call resulting in the end of their relationship breaking both my heart and Kate's as we both listen word for word to what the newly former couple has to say. If you know me, you know this is the last thing I ever wanted to happen between them because of how well they balance each other out, but I'm left with no choice anymore but to hope that Luke will come to his senses and realize there's no need for him to ruin a good thing for the adults in his life who have been nothing short of amazing to him. You know, he may not like the fact that Ken has been seeing his mother, but he can't erase all of the times he bought him dinner or gave him a ride home after a late night of fun. Unlike Luke's father, Ken actually wants the people around him to be just as happy as he is. Thankfully though, Kate gets me on this, because the next day she ends up being the one to bring him to his senses by sharing with him the depressing story of what really happened to her mother. Whenever her or her father are asked how she died, they simply tell her that she was sick, not on a physical level, but a mental one it's revealed as she brings Luke to the bridge where she committed suicide. I feel so sad whenever I think back to this moment, but it's yet another serious issue that Netflix is able to highlight the seriousness of through the series. It's important to note though that instead of running off with Luke and leaving Emmeline in the dark as to where she stands in her life, Kate took the time beforehand to tell Emmeline, who by the way is over Oliver and has a brand new look, that everything she told her during their heart to heart conversation in their hotel room that one night in California was true. I love everything about this moment between the two because it shows that Emmeline is actually really lovable and kind beneath her mean girl exterior, and kind people always win over mean people, in my book at least. I also relate to her uncertainty about getting into a relationship with somebody new after being burned so badly by someone like Oliver. Still, I really would have loved to see Kate and Emmeline hang out over each other's houses, just like your typical high school couple would, you know? Well, that's just about everything that happened in this episode, so I'm going to end this video right here and say I hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!